Hello and welcome back to another rugby video and today we're going to be checking out seven of the best players playing for Uruguay. So you're going to be want to be thinking this if you're in Pool D playing with Uruguay in the Rugby World Cup or maybe you're just curious of what the best players are for that nation. So let's go ahead and check it out. Before we get into today's video please make sure you go ahead and leave a like on this video to show your support. Please as well make sure you go and comment and let me know your opinion at the end of the video and also please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to be up to date with all our videos as well and please click ahead the notification button so you're notified whenever we upload. And lastly please go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Okay so first up we have Philippe Burchessi uh, who is a fly half player number 10 obviously uh, and he is, well here's his stats here as you can see guys. So we've got position fly off, he's 28 years old, he play, currently plays for US Dax, which plays in the Pro D2 in France. Uh, he has 10 international caps, which is quite surprising considering his age, uh, he's been playing professional rugby for quite a while, I'm pretty sure he started in Rugby 7s originally, so it's quite surprising considering he's only got 10 caps, you would have thought he would have had a hell of a lot more. Uh, his birthplace was in Montevideo in Uruguay, so he's Uruguay through and through. And he scored 54 points in 13 appearances for US Dax. So, I mean, like realistically, that's actually quite good. Uh, but although fly half, it should really be scoring a hell of a lot more points than that. Uh, but for a Uruguayan player, no disrespect to them. I mean, as I said, they're a tier 2 nation. And that's pretty decent, I suppose. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure he started his career quite a while ago playing in the Rugby 7 circuit. But hey, I mean, it's tough. To make a professional if you're a tier 2 nation player so uh, I know I know it's not an amazing stat but it's decent okay so up next we have Augustine or I'm sorry about the name pronunciations if I get it wrong he plays number nine which is a scrum half uh, so as you can see here is his stats position scrum half age 28 uh, he plays for Stade Montois in Pro D2 in France Again, it's professional, it's not high tier professional, but it's still professional. Uh, he has 41 international caps, a hell of a lot more than the previous player we looked at. He scored 62 points in 82 games at club level, uh, so I'm, I suppose that's actually pretty decent. Uh, he scored 145 points in 41 games for his country, so again, that's pretty good. I think coming into the World Cup, he's going to be a player to watch. Uh, Especially in the lower games when you when they play Georgia and stuff like that if you're just a neutral rugby fan It will be interesting to see players like that So please keep an eye out for him as well and as well if your team is looking to sign any like super, Well not superstars, but decent players. I suppose he probably makes it with that stat I mean 145 points in 41 games for his country and 62 points in 82 games is pretty decent uh, it's not exactly horrendous, and I've seen a lot more players not have any points, uh, especially playing for Uruguay, so he's one of the better bunch out of the Uruguayan players. Okay, so moving on, and next up, we have Alejandro Nato, or Nito, who plays number 8. Uh, here is his stats, uh, position number 8, age 31. It seems to be quite an old age, well not an old age, but an uh, older age generation for Uruguay. Uh, his team is Houston Sabercats, which play in the Major League Rugby in USA. Uh, Major League Rugby, in case you guys don't know about that, that's just the professional league over there. It's not Rugby League, it's just a professional competition over in America. Uh, he has 63 international caps, which is pretty decent. He scored 35 points in 63 games for his country. Uh, I suppose that's okay. I mean, obviously, Tier 1 nations are going to be scoring a hell of a lot more. Uh, but for a tier 2 nation player, I suppose that's pretty decent and that's quite a good signing for uh, the Sabercats in Houston. Uh, I mean, like considering it's their first, is it their first season? I know only a few teams have been introduced into Major League Rugby uh, as of 2019. So if, made, if Houston Sabercats are one of, those league, one of those teams being introduced, that's a pretty decent signing. Uh, especially if he hadn't played for professional rugby beforehand. I don't really know a background check on them, uh, but it's a pretty decent stat. Having that international experience as well is quite a good thing to have as a team, and you'd have experience. And yeah, I mean, overall, I suppose it'd be a good sub player to bring on. Obviously, you'd want somebody on the bench, uh, and I suppose he would be a good, decent player to have on the bench. 
Okay, so next up we have a prop, which is Matteo Sanguinetti. Uh, so here are his stats. Uh, position prop, he's age 26, so actually a lot, a lot younger, uh, rugby terms anyway, compared to the other players. Uh, he also plays for the Houston Sabercats over in America. He's had 53 caps for his country, and he scored 10 points in 53 games for the country. Uh, Stat-wise, the points isn't exactly amazing. 53, point, uh, 53 games is quite a lot of games, and to only have 10 points, just looking at, like, what, two tries in 53 games. Uh, it's it's alright. It's not amazing. I mean, there are better props doing better things. Um, but, again, experience-wise, it's a decent thing. I mean, 53 games... For international country is a pretty good experience to have uh, and yeah I mean depending on how much Houston Sabercats actually paid for him uh, it's probably a decent signing again mainly for experience I'd imagine bringing in youngsters and having somebody playing 53 games for the country at the age of 26 as well is uh, quite a good thing to have and if he carries on like that by the time he reaches 35 he should at least get over 100 games so I suppose that's a good signing to have for your team Up next, we have a fullback, which is Gaston Mirez or Mirez. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm sorry. Uh, which is number 15. Here's his stats: uh, position fullback, age 29. Again, going up into the 30 sort of age difference. Uh, he t he plays for Toronto Arrows, which again is the major major league rugby in USA. It's kind of a thing going on here, isn't it? They seem to have quite a few Uruguayan players playing over in America, mainly because probably Uruguay is South America and it's closer to it I suppose I mean like not many teams over in Europe are gonna sign somebody that far away uh, so international caps he has 61 so he's quite experienced uh, he scored 65 points in 61 games for his country so I suppose that's pretty decent uh, where well it depends really on what thing what roles he's relied on for his country being a fullback usually a lot of people want kickers as fullbacks like Lee half running for Wales uh, so again, it really, really, it really varies. Um, Experience-wise, it's it's all there, but again, he might not be a good kicker. I don't really know about that. I, have, I haven't really seen a highlights reel. I've just gone by stats alone. Uh, again, it's not really too much to say about this one, so we're gonna move on. Okay, so next up we have a very long name, which is Rodrigo Caper Ortega. Uh, he plays flanker. Uh, so yeah, position flanker, age 38, he's a hell of a lot older compared to the other players. Uh, he's, I think he originally started his career in 2002. Uh, so he plays for casters in the top 14. So for professionality wise, I think he is potentially one of the best players Uruguay have provided. He scored 125 points in 307 games for his club. Uh, I mean, again, that is a hell of a lot of a professional rugby experience especially for a tier 2 nation. Uh, he scored 50 points in 41 games for his country. Uh, but I'm very, very surprised considering his age, the amount of points he's had for club, and when he originally signed well, professional rugby and started playing. I'm surprised he's only got 41 caps for Uruguay. Like, I don't understand that. There's probably more to it. But it doesn't really make much sense. I mean, if you were managing a tier 2 nation, you would have thought you would have had this guy with all that experience and stuff playing for your club. Oh, sorry for your nation. So, again, I don't understand that. It doesn't really make much sense. Um, but he obviously must be pretty good. 307 games for a top 14 uh, team. That, that's a pretty, pretty good thing. Okay, and who is the best rugby player for Uruguay, I hear you ask? Well, I've looked at stats and there's... Well, going by the title of this video, as you guys know, is seven of the best rugby players in Uruguay. So stat-wise, this is the best rugby player I can find that plays for Uruguay. And this is... Leandro Levas, who, play, who is a winger, uh, number 11, as you can see. Uh, so his stats, position winger, he's age 30, so he's kind of had his sort of youth out of the way now. Uh, team, he plays for Toronto Arrows, again, over in America. International caps, he's had 70 caps which is pretty good. you got to be pretty good to be having 70 caps put by your country. He scored 120 points in 70 games for his country, which averages out to 24 tries in 70 games. I suppose that is pretty good for a Tier 2 nation, uh, and to have that professionality and experience as well, uh, I think that has got to be something that is worth noting. 
Uh, going into the World Cup, I'd say if you are playing Uruguay, so if you are supporting Fiji, Georgia, Wales or Australia, or if you're just curious of what Uruguay's best player is, like looking at this stat, it's got to be one to watch coming into the World Cup. Uh, I mean, I don't know. As I said, it's not an amazing stat that you compare to like the likes of Shane Williams and Joe Nalomo and stuff like that, but for a Tier 2 nation, it's, pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty decent record. And that's why I've listed him as Uruguay's best player currently. And yeah, it's going to be definitely a one to watch coming into the Rugby World Cup if you're playing him or as a neutral rugby fan. Okay, so without further ado, that is going to be the end of today's video there, guys. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed and comment, let me know what you thought. And also as well, an interesting comment would be if you could sign one of these rugby players for your club that you support, who would you want to sign? I mean... I know Uruguay's best player has the best stats, but otherwise you guys might have a different opinion of who you would want. Uh, as well, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed, so please make sure you click the notification button if you haven't already to be notified when we upload. And yeah, it's been a pretty fun and different video to do today, guys. As well, please go ahead and follow me on social media. I'm thinking of doing a Twitter page as well. so. Let me know in the comments, Do you, would you actually follow me if I took up a Twitter page? Please let me know. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I, I will see you in another rugby upload. Peace out, guys.